Hi, uh, my name is Sanjay Mukhopadhyay. I'm a staff pathologist at the Cleveland Clinic and my subspecialty area is pulmonary pathology. And today I'm going to show you an interesting case of interstitial lung disease to contrast with other videos that I've shown you in the past that show you other interesting forms of interstitial lung disease that are not UIP. So here's an example of an interstitial lung disease that is not UIP and that needs to be distinguished from UIP or usual interstitial pneumonia. This case is from a young man in his 40s. I say young because uh, I am now in my 40s and I, I don't see that as a middle-aged uh, age. So this is a young man in his 40s with interstitial lung disease and the CT scan showed bilateral reticular opacities with some traction bronchiectasis. Now typically when you have bilateral reticular opacities um, in a middle-aged or slightly older person, your differential uh, includes both usual interstitial pneumonia and non-specific interstitial pneumonia. And if usual interstitial pneumonia cannot be diagnosed by radiologists because they don't see honeycomb change, it comes down to the pathologist to tell whether something is UIP or NSIP. So let's look at this slide and see what we think is the pattern here. So as you look at this case, one thing that's striking is that when you go from place to place in this biopsy, there's no significant variability. Whereas in UIP, you have a lot of um, distinction between one part of the biopsy and another. So specifically in UIP, one part of the biopsy will look completely normal and the other part of the biopsy will look completely abnormal with scarring and honeycomb change. Whereas in this particular case, almost everything looks uniformly involved. Now as I take you to higher magnification, you can see that the interstitium is indeed abnormal. But again, the key is that you lack the patchwork pattern here that is characteristic of UIP, meaning normal and abnormal. Here's higher magnification on this case, and it shows you expansion of the interstitium by a mix of chronic inflammation as well as collagen. So let's look at the interstitium at a higher magnification. Here's an example of the abnormal interstitium in this disease. It's a mix of chronic inflammatory cells, a few lymphocytes, and as well as this collagen in the background. Now this is very different from smoking-related interstitial fibrosis that I showed you before, or SRIF, in which the alveolar septa are expanded by ropey hyaluronized collagen alone without inflammatory cells. So the mix of inflammatory cells and collagen is actually a hallmark of NSIP or non-specific interstitial pneumonia. So this is the diagnosis here. It's a case of non-specific interstitial pneumonia that shows you the uniform distribution of the interstitial fibrosis and chronic inflammation. Now I will point out here as we go back to low magnification that there is a focus of microscopic honeycomb change in this biopsy. So you can have focal areas of microscopic honeycomb change and what you see in there is these spaces that are filled with mucin. So you see the pale blue stuff in the background. So this is microscopic honeycomb change. The architecture is remodeled. There is a little bit of scarring in the background and these areas are lined by, as I can show you at high magnification, just respiratory type uh, ciliated uh, columnar epithelial cells. So this is a small focus of honeycomb change, but this does not make it UIP, and that's because the patchwork pattern is missing, and that and be, because uh, th there's uniform fibrosis all over the place. Notice also that there's a very abnormal pulmonary artery in the background, but abnormal pulmonary arteries are very common in all forms of interstitial lung disease and do not necessarily imply pulmonary hypertension. Now let me switch to the Movat pentachrome stain. This is really a beautiful stain in, in surgical pathology that we use as lung pathologists here at the Cleveland Clinic. And the pentachrome stain has five different colors in it, but the ones of relevance to um, surgical pathologists, especially lung pathologists, are the yellow color and the black color and the green color. So in this particular case, yellow is stuff that has collagen in it. So fibrosis that is collagen rich stains yellow, more recent fibrosis stains green and mucin also stains green. So let's go to the area of interstitial fibrosis. You can see that the honeycomb change has mucin in it that stains green. But as you go to the area of interstitial fibrosis, you see that there is a mix of green and yellow here, but mostly yellow. So it's mostly a collagen type fibrosis that's mixed with inflammation. And that's what you expect to see in NSIP. So as you move to another area of the biopsy, you'll see wherever you go in the biopsy, you can go from place to place, it has a very uniform appearance. So this is the characteristic feature 
of non-specific interstitial pneumonia or NSIP and needs to be distinguished both from usual interstitial pneumonia that has a terrible prognosis and from smoking related interstitial fibrosis which is a completely different entity. So I hope that I've been able to communicate the pattern uh, that goes along with NSIP as well as the high magnification features that go with this diagnosis. Thank you for your attention.